Today I figured we could talk a little bit about runaperinpäivä. Now this is a Swedish word, so I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it 100% correctly. Finland has a lot of unofficial holidays, and today, February 5th, is one of them. Runaperinpäivä. So as I said, runaperinpäivä is a unofficial holiday in Finland, which means that there may be some small traditions or customs associated with the day, and the Finnish flag is always raised during this day, but it's not like a national holiday. Now, what is Runa Berimpäivä about? Well, it's in memory of the Finnish poet Johan Ludwig Runaberg. So who, who was this guy and why are we celebrating a day for him? So Runaberg was a Finnish writer and poet and he's actually considered the national poet of Finland in Helsinki in Esplanadi, which is central Helsinki. There's this long strip of, well, it's not that long, but like a strip of park. There is a statue of him right in the middle, if you want to have a look at that. He's done a lot of famous works within Finland and his works are considered very central to Finnish culture and they're very, very famous, very read. His most famous work is the Vänriki Stolin Tarina, which is a collection of poems. It was war themed and I think altogether there was 35 poems. And in the first poem collection that he published, the first, the opening poem was a poem called Mom, which that may sound familiar because now that is the national anthem of Finland. So he was actually the person who wrote the Finnish national anthem. And another famous one in his works was uh, Porilaisten Marsi, which is something they play every year during the Christmas piece. Runaberi lived during the 1800s, and actually February 5th, which is the day we celebrate Runaberi Feva, was his birthday. So that is why it's on February 5th. So I think something that every Finnish person associates with Runaperinpäivä is the Runaperin tortut or the Runaberg tart, which is something that they sell in the stores only around Runaperinpäivä. The recipe for this tart was said to have originated from his wife. So his wife would make them for him a lot and he would love to eat them. So it's something that has been passed down now. It's served in schools on this day. They're actually really good. So a lot of households will just buy them and eat them during this and around this day. It's like about this big and it's kind of a almondy flavor. They sometimes have rum or alcohol in it, but I've never tried that. I've only had non-alcohol versions, I think. I don't know how common the alcohol ones are these days, but on the top you have a circle of sugary, white sugary paste, and then in the middle you have a jam. They are heavenly, I really love them, and because I'm not in Finland on this day, I messaged my mom to ask if she can freeze a couple for me so when I go back I'll have a couple to eat. They're that good. So yeah, I just thought it would be cool to take a moment to talk a little bit about one of the unofficial holidays in Finland. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of what the heck is Runaberinpäivä. So yeah, I guess that just about concludes this video. So until next time, 